Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Cam and I talk about everything through the lens of a thrifty zillennial living in the West. If you know me, you know that I'm all in for sustainable fashion. The majority of my closet is all thrifted and hand-me-downs. Keep watching if you want mindful thrift tips and let me take you to a ton of thrift shops in Vancouver. Winter is coming, so for this trip, I've set my mind to only buy sweaters, cardigans, and long sleeves. Many other influencers would usually go on Pinterest and write up a wish list of everything they want, but my take is more to only get what I will surely wear for a long time. I feel like massive thrift hauls defeat the purpose of slow fashion, which is to buy timeless clothing we actually need without contributing to the creation of new clothes. Anyway, I would usually flip through what I already own, then draft a mental list of what would match or complement my existing items. Then I just go straight to the aisles that carry those. Doing the same will save you time, money, and avoid having buyer remorse, especially if you lack self-control like me sometimes. Value Village is usually a great spot. Your best bet is to check out those located in a more affluent neighborhood since people donate better quality clothing there. When it comes to vintage and consignment shops, I usually browse through their Instagram feed first to see if I vibe with style. Here are some of the Vancouver shops I would recommend. The Wildlife Thrift Store on Granville Street. This shop has fairly priced clothing from a ton of popular brands. For example, I found this brand new pair of Levi's High Loose for just 30 bucks. I would have taken that in a heartbeat if it was my size. Community Thrift and Vintage. This shop has two locations, one selling unisex clothing on West Hastings Street and another with more chic female clothing in Gastown. Price is a little higher than a regular thrift shop, but you'll find lovely pieces with higher quality material like silk or pure wool. It's a non-profit too, so your money will go towards meaningful causes. One Love International Society This is a thrift shop near the Metropolis of Metrotown Mall in Burnaby. Pricing is super affordable and unlike other thrift shops that price based on brand names, most items are almost flat price based on category. Also a not-for-profit. Know that even when you've carefully selected where to shop, chances are they might not always have what fits your taste and that's fine. We'll give them another chance next time. Thrift stores nowadays are just flooded with ultra-fast fashion brands like Shein, Princess Polly, Fashion Nova, ASOS, and all of them were not made to last. The fabric is full of polyester, which is essentially plastic. By the time they reach the thrift stores, there's probably not a lot of life left in them. Not to mention, they are all produced under questionable practices that damage the environment and harm the humans in the supply chain. So when browsing the racks, the first thing I look at is the brand name. I will not bring home an ultra-fast fashion piece no matter how cute it looks, simply because it will eventually be a waste of money. If the piece passes the brand check, the next thing I look at is the fabric composition. You want to aim at natural fiber like cotton, tensile, hemp, and in the case of winter sweaters, specifically look for a blend of wool. For thrift store sweaters, you will likely find pills on them and that's fine. After washing, just run a lint shaver through them and they will look almost as good as new. I defoss my sweaters every winter and it's super satisfying to watch the fabric freshen up. So get a fabric shaver before throwing out your old sweaters. It's time to check out the haul! The first piece I have for today is this super cute Stradivarius sweatshirt in the color lilac. This is a very basic piece that I could see myself wearing in almost every occasion. What a steal! Next piece is a black cardigan from Uniqlo. Do I need to say more about this? I love colors, but when it comes to clothing, I would only restrict myself to very neutral colors. And the most experimental I could get is usually lilac or some sort of pink. So this one complements my closet perfectly. You really can never go wrong with a black cardigan. Next piece is one I got from Value Village. Crop knit sweater from Uniqlo. It's made of 100% wool. I love this color so much and I see myself wearing this almost every day this winter. 
it feels so soft and it could be easily layered underneath some cardigans for extra warmth next piece is this silk shirt from j crew and i got it for ten dollars from the same store with that other sweatshirt can you believe it Talking about lilac, I also got this super cute lilac cardigan. This would look so good with anything black and white underneath, which is the majority of my wardrobe. Another wool top, also from Value Village, is this Banana Republic cashmere top. This one has a little bit of imperfection at the sleeve, but I feel like I can easily mend it. I absolutely love this and I feel like everyone needs a basic piece of knitwear like this. This is a tank top from Kos. I know it's a little out of place, it's more of a summer piece. But you know what? It looks too cute to pass up. It's made of very thick and sturdy cotton. I think I could layer this under some sort of heat tech top given the color is kind of like a v-shaped one this one is also from value village it is a very cute cardigan with i think 30 percent wool in it and it has this cute academia vibe to it i could see myself wearing this over a long dress or with a shirt and long skirt it still feels like a fall piece but with some layering it could definitely work in the winter and here's my favorite piece from the whole pack it's this super cute wool jacket that i got from value village it has real wool and alpaca in here, and the extra button is still intact. Alright everyone, I hope that was fun. If you want more fashion and beauty tips, I have another video where I share my secret to looks maxing. Check it out. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to hear me rant and ramble about similar topics, please subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Peace and love.